Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making pretzels. For my first time ever, I've never made pretzels before and I've always wanted to make pretzels. I just never really, I don't know. So this should be interesting because making that pretzel shape, I feel like it's just very, you know, this should be interesting. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need two groups of ingredients, if that makes sense. So these are gonna be cinnamon sugar soft pretzels. Um, so the first group of ingredients you're gonna need for the actual pretzel. In our first group of ingredients, you are going to need four and a half cups of flour, just regular flour, one and a half tablespoons of yeast. This is um, active dry yeast. A fourth cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of salt, four tablespoons of melted butter, Bring on the butter, right? And two cups of warm milk. Now, this doesn't feel warm. I heated it up earlier, but it's been sitting out for a while. Well, not for a while, but like for like five minutes. And it's not warm anymore, so uh, let's heat this back up. The milk is warm again. <laughs> so I have my phone right here with the recipe. I will link the recipe in the description box for you guys as well so you can um, Look at the written out recipe. So in a large bowl, you want to dissolve the yeast in the warm milk. So I'm going to pour the warm milk in my bowl. And my yeast. Dissolve it. Do I just let it do its thing or do I have to stir it at all? It says to wait until the mixture is bubbly. And then, you know what? I'm going to just stick a little spoon and kind of help it, I guess. God, I hope this is the right yeast to use. Uh, why is it clumpy? No. Well, that's not nice. Ew. Mmm. Okay. Wow. That. Maybe the milk wasn't warm enough. Oh no. You know what? I'm just gonna mix everything in. Maybe maybe once everything's mixed together, it will look better. Let's mix in the sugar. Wow, that's weird. It was like bubbling. The sugar was bubbling. Okay, we mix the sugar in. Our butter. One cup of flour. Well, I'm just gonna estimate a cup of flour. Sure. Oh, and the salt. And the salt. And mix until combined. It says to add one cup of flour at a time. Okay, it's starting to look a little better. More like dough, not lumpy liquid. <laughs> Gross. Lumpy liquid, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> this is definitely look, starting to look like dough now. As you can see, it's stretchy and doughy and what you want bread dough to look like. Ooh, it's very sticky, very sticky. I don't know why I always talk in accents. I'll be from the South and then I'll be from like England and then I'll be from like, I don't even know, Russia? Was that Russian? Very sticky. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. All right, it's looking good, looking good. So it says, until a smooth and slightly sticky dough forms to mix it until that happens. And it's pretty smooth and it looks pretty sticky to me. So I think it's done mixing. So now what we wanna do is we wanna cover the bowl with the dough in it and let it sit 
for an hour. Let's scrape it off the hook. This is like a legit hook. Like, <laughs> all right, it's covered. Now we wait for an hour. Okay, so our dough has risen and it is crazy big. Um, holy cannoli, look at that. What we wanna do now is take two large baking sheets and line them with parchment paper. And I have those right here. All right, I have clean countertops now. Now it doesn't say specifically to flour your surface, but I'm thinking it's gonna get a little sticky and messy. So I flour my surface because I don't want my dough to be sticking like crazy to the countertops. And it says to divide your dough into 12 equal size portions. Oh, it's actually not sticky. Weird. I'm still gonna sprinkle my surface with some flour, just in case. And now let's take the, the dough out, I guess. sticky dough like it would be like for bread. It's weird. It's very different. Alright, I'm just gonna plop it down on my floured surface. Ooh. Oh gosh, that's sticky. Okay. Um, so let's just divide our dough into 12 even pieces. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thank the Lord. We have twelve, even-ish pieces of dough. So now it says, "Well, this is the hard part." Now it says to roll your dough into a long, skinny. Oh my! It's very soft. How is this? How do you do it, pretzel shape? I, I was hoping that it would, you know, be like a picture of how she does the pretzel shape. I guess this is gonna, I don't know if that's long enough to make a pretzel. Okay. You just, <gasps> don't you like do, <laughs> hold on. How do you do the pretzel shape? Isn't it like this? I was trying to be all fancy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I don't, do you not it? Do you not a pretzel? No. This is hard. I'm just gonna have to do it like. That looks like a pretzel shape, right? All right, I guess that's gonna be, that's as good as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna continue doing that for the rest of these pieces of dough, and I'll be back. Okay, so our pretzels are rolled. Okay, so for your next step after your pretzels are all rolled out into the pretzel shape, you want to get your ingredients prepared for the topping of the pretzel, if you will, like the coating and the sprinkled sugar and all that. So for the topping, you're going to need a third cup of baking soda, which I have right here, three cups of warm water in a, you know, decent sized bowl, four tablespoons of melted butter, I have right here, then a half cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon, which I already mixed together in the shallow bowl right here for dipping. So first you want to a medium sized bowl, which is kind of small, but that's okay. You want to mix together the warm water and your baking soda until 
the baking soda is dissolved. So pour in the baking soda. Okay, I would say that it's dissolved. Now we want to dip each rolled out pretzel that in the water mixture, weird, and place it on your lined baking sheet, I guess. That's very, this is a very interesting process, I must say. I feel like I'm baptizing my pretzels. <laughs> so now I want to bake the pretzels for 7 to 11 minutes. So now is the moment of truth. I'm excited. Okay, so I have our first batch of pretzels, which they smell really good. Um, they're a little big, as you can see. They look somewhat like pretzels though, right? This one looks pretty much like a pretzel. This one does too. Um, this one does not, <laughs> but I think overall they're not that bad for my first time. Okay, so now what we want to do is the fun part. We want to dip our pretzels into the cinnamon sugar and butter. I have like a little silicone brush right here to brush the pretzels, the top of the pretzels with the melted butter. Okay, brush, I'm going to just brush them first with the butter and then dip them. Okay, and now I'm going to take my pretzel and I'm going to dip it in the cinnamon sugar mixture. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Looking good, looking good. I cannot wait to eat one of these. Oh my god. Okay, oh my gosh. They smell so good. Okay, well that's, that's one batch. I feel like I'm gonna need more of this cinnamon mixture though. That's definitely not gonna be enough. Okay. A little bit more sugar, some cinnamon. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, let's dip the other ones. These guys are still pretty hot. Maybe I should let them cool off. Are they done? Oh my gosh, I don't think they're done. They're not done? Oh wait, that one just isn't done. This one's a little, see in the middle? Oh, it's not done. Okay, well, let's Sadly, I had to throw one away because it wasn't done in the middle. Um, the rest of them seem to be done. So, I'm going to continue. Ooh, I think I need to remelt my butter. I want to try one so bad. My mouth is watering right now. That's how good they smell. Ugh. Okay, my butter is remelted. Okay, so that is that. Um, they smell amazing. I like cannot wait any longer to try one. Okay, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna try it now. So, all right, ready? Mmm, wow, that's good. That's so good cinnamon sugar and the butter make it taste amazing. So that is it for my video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, these are really good. This recipe is definitely a good recipe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 Bye